Welcome to my first ever vlog. We've come to the Cotswolds. We are at Welford Pools. Never fished this venue before. I'm just slowly getting back into the uh, the carping world with these night sessions. I'm here for 48 hours. Uh, we got here at 10 o'clock, had a nice walk around the lake just to get used to it. Um, or, or I should say more of like the feel of it really. Um, nothing really showed. Uh, this morning so um, those of you that do know Welford Pools quite well I'm uh, on peg 16 apparently it's a pretty good swim to be on um, I can go all through rigs and, 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 and spots that I'm fishing later in the video this is more just to get the introduction out there um, like I said I've never done this sort of thing before never even vlogged before um, but something I thought I'd give it a go and if we like it we'll continue it uh, so like I said we're at Welford's for 48 hours um, all the carp I've seen have been jumping out of the water uh, we've got quite a few on top um, it is about 23 24 degrees today um, so it's, it's going to be tough I'm expecting some sort of action towards the late evening as it starts to cool down a little bit um, so so yeah that's 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 where we are at the moment i've had four tidy little runs they've been sort of like mini runs really you know the bait's been picked up it's bleat for about two three seconds and just as you uh kind of get out of the bivy a little bit it's, it stops so you know you think do i wind in do i re-put them out there but uh no i've, I've left them out there and like I said, we're just going to just wait and see um, what happens. Like I said, I am uh, here for 24 hour, uh, 48 hours. Um, I'm not sure if I <laughs> introduced what my uh, YouTube name was. So a lot of people out there have got a nickname called Fidge. So we're going to go with Fidge's Carbon Adventures. I think that sounds pretty unique. Um, so what's on the rods? So I've got a... We've got a German rig on uh, my left arm rod. Um, like I say, if, if, if those of you that uh, know um, Peg 16, I've got it up to the to the right of those trees. Um, I can show you a video of that a bit later. Uh, so I've got a German rig on size six curve shank. Um, we've got a uh, peppered peach pop up um, on that one, and then my uh, right arm rod is just a PVA bag system and then we've got the I think it's a 16 mil um, wafter on it pineapple um, I believe is the is the flavor I love yellow it's my number one go-to color so confident in that one um, and then on the PVA bag we've got the almond uh, cord of goo plume um, on, on it as well just to give it some sort of more attraction just try to get those carp to zone in on that while they're on the top um, there was a gentleman walking around earlier throwing some pellets out in the water uh, and, and they still weren't even having that so like I said it's going to be an interesting night I'm excited um, going into my first night see what happens and if anything further further happens then then, then i'll update but uh for now i hope you do enjoy my first ever uh, carp vlog um, like i said i'm really looking forward to it and, uh, and i hope you enjoy so until there's uh any more action i'll see you soon so here we are again as promised is the uh the swim that i am in peg number 16 as you can see my left hand rod if you can see the stick is just in between these trees up here and then my right hand rod just in the margins right there I've had two big jumps from out of that spot but no takes as of yet and then like I said the carp were all on top of the water just over by those trees um, originally when I first cast it out this morning there was nothing so I was just up by the sort of like island so when I noticed them at the top I did move 
back over to um, the trees there on the right. Uh, but as you can see, I don't know if you can quite make out. There are a few on the top, just over there, look. As you can see, if I can just point down, there we go. They look really nice. I do hope that um, I get my first Cotswold carp out of this lake. So I'm just using my iPhone for this vlog. Obviously, if it uh, completely takes off, then we can uh, get some more better upgraded equipment. There's the campsite, tucked nicely in the shade by the trees. So yeah, that's where we are. Fingers crossed. We do pick something up. So until then guys, I shall update you later in the video. So, just thought I'd come on and uh, give you an update. It's just gone eight o'clock in the evening. Um, and as you can tell by the no fish footage, we are still yet to catch. Thinking about changing it up a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna try two different baits. I'm gonna try the uh, bottom baits rather than pop-ups because they're, although I've had some slight little knocks and runs, um, I've not really, well, I say not really, I haven't produced anything. Um, so I'm going to go with a dumbbell CC More Pacific tuner. They are glugged. So I'm going to give one of those a go. Um, and then put some free offerings of some pellet and maybe some crushed up uh, Pacific tuna uh, boilies and some salmon uh, fry crumb um, within that mix. Just, just down in the margins to see if that produces anything in the night. And then maybe for the second rod, probably do the same, but use a citrus blend, 18 mil boily. Um, again, I might chop that one down a little bit though, just to, just to make it feel a little bit different, like it's been in the water for a while. So just get the pair of scissors and just probably just hack away at it and give it an odd, an odd shape. Um, and then and then the same process, add some oiled up pellet and probably some crushed up. Uh, citrus blend uh, boilie as well just to see if that uh, does any sort of trick so that's the, the current situation I have just had a gentleman join the lake on the opposite side now so um, he's also fishing in the margins a little bit close to, to where I am for my liking so I've got uh, options to bring my left hand rod in and go to to the reeds in front of me, um, that little island of reeds that we saw in the previous video. So just had a knock then on my right hand rod that's in the margins. So, you know, do, do I bring it in? Do I leave it out for the night now? That's the first sort of knock that I've had on there for probably a you know a good a good few hours. And now I've got a decision to make really. Um, the only other option is to probably just leave them there and maybe early hours of the morning get get something different on if, if I've not succeeded. Um, if that uh, knock hadn't come on that rod, that little, probably just a little liner, um, I will probably said I'd have wound those in and recast it out for the evening. which I could always just pre prep the, the PVA bags ready just in case I make that decision and it's just a case of changing them over, it takes seconds and, and wanging them back out. But that is the update for the evening. So fingers crossed, we do manage to get something in the night. I'm not sure how hard the water is during sort of like the May months. Um, I know I've seen a couple of posts recently of some really good fish come out of here. That's why I thought I'd come up here and give this a go. Lovely venue, it's so beautiful, it's calm, it's peaceful. It is a great, great venue. So, like I say, that's, that's it. And then, until the next update, um, hopefully 
we get a fish in the night. If not, I shall probably see you early in the morning. Until then, good night. Well, there we go, guys. Update for the evening. I did the switch. I uh, went out on the Pacific Tuna on my right hand rod. Um, it was a good job I bought that in off the margins because um, when I bought it in, we was caked in black sticks and a great big clump of black leaves. So if I'd have left it out there for the night, we probably wouldn't have had anything. Um, so more than happy that I did that um, switch. Um, offered out a load of freebies on the Pacific Tuna as well. And then uh, just chucked in some free offerings of pellet, really. As regards to the left-hand rod, I've changed my mind. I didn't go on the 18mm boilie um, for the citrus blend. I went on a, uh, it was a st I think it was a sticky baits. So it was a Morbs, um, sort of like 12mm, um, very small uh, boilie, and then just put out um, a PVA string of free pellets and, and blended up citrus blend instead. So um, the, the, the Morbs, um, sort of like, I think that's what it is, um, the washed out version, the 12 mil. So it's, yeah, like I say, it's washed out version. Um, so hopefully the crafty <laughs> carp will think that um, that's been there for a while. So fingers crossed we get some sort of action for the night. But uh, until then, I will definitely see you either in the night or in the morning. Good morning. I say morning, it's quite late, probably about 10 to 12 something like that i've had an eventful morning quiet in the night lots of rod bleeps kept me up most of the night probably half an hour 45 minute intermittence um and then this morning just thought i'd you know bring the rods in freshen it up a little bit and just found out that uh i was being done by crayfish so i've uh wound down the tackle a little bit i've gone smaller hook sizes gone on the chod this time um citrus 12 mil pop up and then that's right in the margin as we saw yesterday and then my left hand rod in the same position up by the trees is uh fake corn with a lot of uh, hemp and corn offerings just to go around that um no sooner than that change of that pop up and that small hook bait i had the, a really big run um, and I had it on for about five seconds. Big fish, it felt really big. Um, it certainly, I think, would have been a PB for me anyway. And then uh, it decided to completely and snap, at least snap me off. Um, took the, just snapped the line, took everything. Took everything, the bait, the hook. Good job we used barbless here. Um, lost, lost the lead. It's just crazy. I've never experienced that in my life. For, for it to snap my line like that um, was, was pretty pretty brutal. But that's the story so far. So I've got that rod back out in that spot just there. And just before doing this little update, I just had a big, big run there again. It only lasted all of about two seconds. I just jumped out of the seat and uh, no, it, it stopped. So we shall see what happens i'll probably leave that there for another hour that's on the chod like i say um hopefully i'm not being done by crayfish again if i am i'm really gonna have to probably just think about moving uh, that rod to a different spot um still here till 10 o'clock tomorrow morning so fingers crossed i do get something to uh, upload fish wise into my first uh youtube blog but other than that, I'm trying my hardest and that's all that counts. We learn along the way. But that is the the update for today. Um, so fingers crossed that we that we do get something. I do hope you've enjoyed everything that I've put together so far. Um, like I say, I am new to this. So it's just uh, see how the video plans out. Like I say, hopefully we get uh, one of those nice little gold bars to, to show off for our, for our hard work. But until then, I'll update you if anything else happens. Well, here we go, guys. It took a while, but my God, did we get one. And she is a beauty. My first ever carp from the Cotswolds. Oh, okay, one hell of a fight. Left hand rod, decided to change it up a bit and stick an 18 mil Pacific tuna boilie right out towards the trees as we saw in the previous video well the previous uh, part
part of this video. Oh, and she's came in at £20.5. So PB for me, so I'm well happy. Oh, let's just put some water on her, I'll give you a look. Oh, but how about this? For a beautiful, beautiful bar of gold. Oh, just trying to get my grip on it. There we go. 20 pound five ounces. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Over the moon. So happy we got the blank out of the way on my first session. Just turn around and get a look at the other side. Oh. Let's turn her over. Oh. Absolutely over the moon. Very slippery. Oh, but there we go. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Call my back's hurting. Beautiful. Oh, just uh, slip her back in the water and hopefully. We get another one before the end of the session. Oh, right, so update time. It's just gone eight o'clock in the evening and that's the rods out now for the night. So fingers crossed we can add number two to, uh, to our tally. It's always nice when you're doing something like this as a debut vlog that um, we do produce a decent bar of gold for the video and at £20.5 like I said it's a PB for me um, more than more than chuffed so even if we don't get one from here on now I, th I think I've done my first vlog that's some absolute justice um, I'm not fishing in the margins anymore this is where we was fishing so just in here and we've gone uh, Pacific Tuna on both PVA bags um, size 6 curved shank with a medium kicker on it, nothing too um, strenuous. And then what I've done is I've changed my line, so my right hand rod is just in here. And then my left hand rod is just up in here. So that's where I caught my uh, my £20.5 mirror on that uh, left hand rod. And as you can see, it is really calm tonight. So fingers crossed we do get another one in the night and we can uh, put another one on the channel. But uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not going to complain with the 48 hours that I'm having at the moment. It did take a while to get that first one in, but we, we got there in the end. And that's, uh, that's all that matters. So guys, that's it. And like I said, if I do uh, pick up another one in the night, then... Um, you shall see me, but until then, good night. Good morning. We come to the last part of my session. I've got probably about an hour and, and a half left of that. I did get another one in the night, 20 pound, one ounce, beautiful fish. So my first uh, time experience in um, trying to play a fish in the night. So I'll just show you picture of that now and what a beauty she was um, still caught her on the right hand rod this time you know the one that was uh, probably just up around here um, on the Pacific tuna 18 mil boily again but uh, like I say I've all packed out now ready to get home have a nice shower um, it's been a hell of an experience here. Uh, it's such a beautiful venue and I'll definitely be back again. But um, hopefully we get another one within that time and it'd be nice to, to end on a hat trick. But like I said from the previous video, I'm, I'm not going to complain. I've, you know, I've had two, so 
absolutely uh, ecstatic um, over the results. Um, so with that said, that's me signing off. Unless uh, I do pick up another one. I hope you've uh, enjoyed hanging out with me on this session. And uh, I shall see you all in the next one. Peace out.